guys welcome back so this week I decided to show you how to do a quick everyday glam look that I do but before I show you how I do my look my dad wanted to show you guys how he could do makeup we decided to talk before I came home I went home for a day and I was telling him that I wanted to film and he proceeded to tell me that he would be able to do my makeup and I asked him if he would want to film and do it so this is kind of what happened with that he would watch some of my videos, remember how to do things, or as he said, he would remember, and would then do it on me. He also refused to put his glasses on, so he can't really technically see what he's doing, I don't think, but he does a pretty good job with doing all of this. I'm really proud of him, and it's just honestly really funny. I'm very lucky to have the support system that I do, and that I have a dad that's willing to do this, because definitely not everybody's willing to try and learn how to do makeup for the very first time on camera. I love that he was very into it and put so much effort into it, so I give him an A for that. And I hope you guys enjoy watching this. Um, this is just a quick little fun thing that I did with my dad, and then we'll get into me doing my tutorial, and I'll show you how to do my quick everyday glam. So I hope you guys like this. And also remember that it's honestly really funny. We had a lot of fun doing this, and he really can't see what he's doing, so he a lot of times I can tell where he's putting the makeup, and I kind of laugh due to that. So if you kind of see that happening, I hope you laugh along and I hope you guys like this. So, yeah. Okay, so now on to my glam. I prepped my face first with the Tarte Amazon Clay Foundation. I put that all over. Then I went in with my absolute favorite concealer of life. This is LA Girl Cosmetics Pro Conceal. It's really thick, so I love the consistency of it. It gives a really great coverage and covers those lovely circles and dark bags that I have under my eyes. So I like to do this. I apply a very generous amount and I kind of apply this to all the areas that I would like to highlight. I then go into the damp sponge and just kind of press all of this into my skin. By doing this you're going to make just a really nice seamless finish and that's how it makes it look like I don't really necessarily have a lot of makeup on. Even though I really do cake all of it on, I just really blend all of this out. So remember, put this on, you're going to do, I do this step twice just because I really like a really bright under eye and a lot of conceal. You do not have to do this twice, I just do this twice. If you're not comfortable wearing this much foundation and concealer, please, you do not have to do this. You can do this one time. You can do this. and this, However it makes you comfortable, I just like doing it like this because I love a really, really full coverage. And I also need my makeup to stay on all day because I'll sometimes be in the salon for about eight hours and I need my makeup to not move. So by doing this twice, I really kind of cake all of that on. As much as I hate to say it, I love to just kind of pack everything in and blend everything out just to give it a really nice smooth finish but also to give it really nice full coverage that is going to stay on and not crease and come off throughout the day. So after we do this I'm going to go in and just really make sure everything's all blended out before I go in and contour. So use that sponge and just blend everything out really well then go in with the contour I'm using LA Girl concealer again but this time just in a darker color and blend all that out I'm using a brush I got at Target it's elf it's amazing super great little blending brush then go in and use a smaller one for your nose and just make that line really nice and crisp just so that you get a really nice contour on your nose I love a really clean contour on my nose so I use a smaller brush to do this and then blend it out So again, blend this out. I'm using a smaller brush again on my nose to blend all this out so I get a really nice line and it doesn't go all over my face. After you do this, I'm going to use the Holy Grail of all powders, which is Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I absolutely love this stuff. I cannot do my makeup without it anymore. I use this every day. I use it every day to bake, and it really honestly works. It makes my makeup stay intact. It does not come off. 
and it gives it a really nice finish when, at the very end when we do blend all this out. So we're gonna kind of pack all this on. Remember, set it onto your skin, don't blend it out. Then go in with a uh, darker bronzer. I'm using the Tarte's Amazon Bronze for this to give me a little bit more color. Apply a little bit more just underneath your eye to make it very bright. I'm using a beauty blender to apply all of this as well. Then go in and just apply a nice color to your lid. I'm using a Stila from their, what palette am I even using? It's a Stila in the No palette and I use the colors Clay and Desert in this. I then go in with just some mascara after I do my entire eye and coat my eyes. I use two different ones, CoverGirl and then also Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which I love. Then I go in and do my eyebrows. I've filmed another tutorial on this. I can do another brow video if you guys would like. But this is just my quick everyday eyebrow I use. Here I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow with my Tarte eyebrow brush and applying this and just kind of smoothing everything out and feathering it out with the little brush on the end of the brush, the little spoolie, so that way it's not super dark. Then go in and blend out all of that bake with a nice fluffy brush, blend everything out and really, really blend and this is gonna give it a really nice soft finish. Then go in and highlight. The first layer of highlight I'm going to use is Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator, which is my absolute favorite thing to use in life. I'm really sad that they don't make it anymore. Then go in with the Benefit That Gal and apply a little bit of that. Then go in and apply a nice blush. I'm using a MAC blush for this. Then go back in again and use this time the Anastasia Gleam Glow Kit in Starburst and apply more highlighter. Then set all of that with a nice setting spray. I'm using an NYX one for that. Then go underneath your eyebrow and use a good concealer and just highlight that under brow and blend everything out really well. Go in back in with your brush and blend it all out so there's no harsh lines. Then after you do that, I'm gonna apply a little bit of a white shadow to my inner eye, eye corner just to give it a little bit of brightness. And then use a little bit of liquid eyeliner to give me my absolute favorite little quick cat eye. I'm using an NYX liquid eyeliner for this. I love NYX products. They're really good and they will not break the bank. And they all work very well and they stay on. So blend everything out. Apply a little bit more highlighter underneath your eyebrow. Now we're going to go back in and use one of my other favorite lip liners, which is Spice by MAC. Lay on your entire lip. Give it a really nice, full, plump look. I love to overline my lips a little bit just to make them look even bigger which everybody loves to do, so don't hate on it. Then you're gonna go in with a nice lipstick. I'm using Kinda Sexy by MAC as well for this, and we're just gonna fill in the entire lip, and it's a really nice, pretty color. It's not too much of a color, but it gives you a nice, kind of warm look to you without making it like look too nude, but you don't really have to, too dark of a color. So I hope you guys like this video. I thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun with my dad. If you see him, Please tell him he did an absolutely fabulous job. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week.